With just one home playoff win since 1993, black clouds seemed to hover over Kansas City in January. The Chiefs started the 2019 postseason in a fog. Houston strikes first. And the Texans block it. It's loose at the 10-yard line. Lottie to the right side. He's in. Tyree Kill who fumbles the ball at the seven-yard line, and the Texans got it. Throw over the middle. Got a man. Fells. Touchdown, Houston. Up three TDs to nothing. Everything that could go wrong did go wrong. Oh, man, this is embarrassing, but we got three quarters. <laughs> it wasn't a great feeling to have, but we knew it was all self-inflicted. Let's do something special. Let's do something special. I already count us out. One play at a time, do something special. Nicole Hartman set it off. Nicole Hartman takes it at the one-yard line. He gets to the 20, 25, 30. He's got a block. He's at the 40 on the angle, midfield. And once we had that momentum switch of, the, of a good kick return, our offense went out there, and we just exploded, man. Damian Williams, touchdown! Steps up, being pressured, fires it late, caught, Kelsey dies, touchdown! The Kansas City Chiefs have scored two touchdowns in a span of two minutes and 49 seconds. I don't care what they say, we are dominating them on every single play. We just keep dominating. The Chiefs set a franchise record, scoring 177 second quarter points in 2019. Against the Texans, they became the first team in NFL history to trail by 24 in the second before leading at halftime. 10 game minutes ago, it was 24 to nothing Houston, and the Chiefs have the lead. I love having Patrick Mahomes on my team. As Pat began to complete his passes and as tra Travis began to catch his balls, it was the guys that we always count on to lift us who were lifting us. Telekinetic. That might be the best way to describe Mahomes and Kelsey's connection. A 28-yard catch. Mahomes and Kelsey do it again. I, I, don't, I don't understand how you know what I'm doing. I knew you were going to turn. I was, I, there was nothing telling you I was going to do that. What? And the ball was in that's the air before that's I did That's what I wanted you to do. And I was like, like ah! I was running a out route. I didn't see the ball in flight after my first three or five steps into the out route and just said, you know what, let me try and get open going this way. And as soon as I turned around, it was either gonna hit me in the face or I was gonna catch it. We had never practiced that. That was something that was never supposed to happen. And I threw it and he catches it in stride and runs and makes a big play happen. We built up the chemistry to me to trust him to do stuff like that. That's crazy. Let us stick together and fight. But like he said, this ain't over. We're coming back on Monday. We're getting in there. We're making sure that our mind is right and we're physically right to go out there and win at, at our home AFC Championship this week. And we're ready to go for the AFC Championship game. For the second straight year, the opportunity is here for the Kansas City Chiefs again. Everybody was excited that we were back in the AFC Championship game trying to find a way to, to change what happened the year before. Championship swagger, baby. Just destiny. I promise y'all, we deserve to be here. We play for each other, dog. The audience of one, the team, dog. I felt like this team really handled its fair share of adversity. So in our minds, it was no doubt. You know, we knew where we were headed to win the Lamar Hunt Trophy. Earning the trophy named after the Chiefs founder would require yet another comeback. Comes to Derrick Henry, off tackle left, touchdown Tennessee. Shades of last week. Oh! Come on! Feel it! Down 17-7, the Chiefs had that second quarter feeling. That was bad news for the Titans. Now throw left side, Tyreek Hill! Touchdown, Kansas City! Halftime approached. That left just enough time for Patrick Mahomes to provide yet another memorable second quarter moment. Mahomes moving to his left laterally, chased, holding it, and gets out of bounds and up the sideline. He's not out of bounds yet. He's at the 10, inside the 10, he dives. Touchdown, Kansas City. A remarkable acrobatic scramble, maybe the best play yet. 
Mahomes' epic feat of stamina was born out of mere exhaustion. We had a two minute drive, so everybody's a little tired at that moment because we had been kind of driving down the field. We ran the play, and a few plays before, I'd ran to the sideline, and the guy, I think it was a little tired, kind of giving up and just kind of like throwing his hands and like kind of barely pushed me out of bounds. And so I was running, and at the last moment, I was like, man, I'm just gonna try to go for it. And I was running down the sideline, and I remember I was like, we have a timeout, let's try to cut it back and see if I can get close as I can to the end zone. I almost got stripped, I actually almost fumbled the ball, but I was able to hold on to it, dive in the end zone, find a way to score, and then it was try to find oxygen as quickly as possible after that. At that point in the game, for him to pull something out of his hat, like a magic trick, something that the NFL hadn't seen of him yet, to be able to make a play on his feet like that, in arguably the biggest game of his career at that point, man. It was, uh, it was pretty special, man. That's championship swagger, boy! That's what I like, boy! That play is the definition of championship swagger. Let's go do our job, dog. For us, it was, you know, finish. Stop Derrick Henry. Henry is hit and taken down! I was glad we got the opportunity to show the world that we were a much better defense. They're down to the last gasp of oxygen. 128 to go in the game, fourth and six. Tannehill under pressure, still moving to his right. Frank Clark chasing, knocks him down! Tannehill goes down! Frank Clark has just given Kansas City its first trip to the Super Bowl in 50 years! No! It's been 50 years, man. This is not about me, man. It's about the people of Kansas City. They, they deserve it way more than us, no doubt. For the fans that have went through the years of, of down and the years of almost to be able to get them to the Super Bowl, uh, it, it, was, uh, it was really cool. Look how many people are happy because of Lamar. Oh, he that, did this. So it, it's the best. This organization isn't here without Lamar Hunt. You can feel every single game how much these fans appreciate that and how much it meant to Clark Hunt and the Hunt family to finally bring home their father's name. It was definitely a cool feeling to be a part of that, man. No one, <laughs> whew, I'm a passionate guy, sorry. I, um, I absolutely, uh, I loved every bit of being on that stage for them, that's for sure.